Good morning, everyone. <coughs> okay, we'll continue with our book reading, The Tutorial to Service Excellence by Jeffrey K. Leica and Karen Ross. And we're in chapter 8. We said, Micro level people principle develop people to become masters of their own craft. Last week, we looked at service for you how they learned how to develop leaders using the improvement kata and coaching kata. So today on page 266, we'll continue from there. Set principle 13, which says develop skill and mindset through practicing kata. Develop skills and mindset through practicing kata. My Kuroda was my student in a master's program and worked with me at University of Michigan. But then we went separate ways professionally. I was writing books, speaking and developing the conceptual basis for the Toyota Way, and he was on the shop floor learning by doing. We both faced the challenge of trying to shift managers from lean tools orientation to more of focused on developing people. <coughs> But in different ways, I wrote about the concept with case examples. Mike was trying to develop a practical countermeasure. The countermeasure he developed was Toyota Kata. Before we delve deeply into Toyota Kata, let's consider the problem it was trying to solve. 1. Mindless tool deployment. People deployed tools to take out waste without really understanding the reason for using the tools. They were using tools for using tools sake. 2. No clear direction. There was no clear direction to waste elimination, just a kind of random work, so the often frenzied activity did not add up to meaningful business results. 3. Lack of scientific method. Although lean professionals all learned about PDCA, a few had a really deep understanding of the scientific method behind it. Therefore, they were doing a lot of work that had weak planning, checking, and learning. The fourth one says unclear leadership and accountability. Although improvement, although improvement team did this and that, it was not always clear who was responsible for what targets and areas of improvement. <coughs> Number five said, start up, start and stop episodic improvement. There were bonds of improvement, active bonds of improvement activity, followed by business as usual, particularly in companies that use Kaizen events as the main deployment mechanism. There was some positive results from those bursts of activities to develop to deploy tools. Things will get better in certain, res certain respects, better flow, less inventory, more organized work pattern, better quality, higher productivity, and on-time delivery, and people were deeply engaged at times. But the process was always jerky, and most of the great ideas produced in those flurries of activities led to, change, to changes that degenerated over time. Even when improvement led to long-term changes in the flow of work, there was little adoption to changing conditions and eventually the improvements were out of steps and less effective. Moreover, management was not really changing the way it thought or acted to support the new system. Lean became one more improvement program to work on until the next program came along. So this is where we'll stop for our reading this morning. Still discussing the topic developing people to become masters of their own craft and so they looked at develop skills and mindsets through practicing kata so kata is a toyota kind of um, technique or strategy that is used to identify problems that you're trying to solve and they also uh, make use of the lean transformation to improve on programs and work process. So the little um, place we just read was talking about the research behind Toyota Kata, where people in the organization, you know, used tools, but they didn't know why they were using 
those tools. So here I said, what Mike observes were a number of weaknesses in lean transformation. So there were weaknesses in lean transformation. People did things and they didn't know why they did them. There was no clear direction. They did not use scientific method and there was no accountability and there was also an unclear leadership. There was also the problem of, you know, starting and stopping um, improvement. They started improving for a while and the next thing you know, they just stop um, improving. So as we go further, in our next um, paragraph, we'll look at the root causes and the way our brain works. So that's it for our reading today. Thank you.